Hello friends, now to work on Salesforce, we need to create a free account on Salesforce. There are two ways of creating free account. One is by going to developer.salesforce.com or login.salesforce.com. But when you go to developer.salesforce.com and you sign up, that time you get a lifetime free account. But if you go to login.salesforce.com and if you go to sign up, so it will give you the login of a production environment and you will get only 30 days trial version. You see free 30 day trial but if you go to developer.salesforce.com and you go to sign up so here you will get an access to a developer account and that will be free for lifetime so make sure you go to developer.salesforce.com and sign up it's very simple you need to provide your first name last name email and company you can leave as an individual whatever you want and the username the only catch is that username should be in the format of email it could be abc at the rate xyz.com the only thing is the format the format should be of email you click on agree and click sign me up now i have already created an account i am lo logged in into my salesforce org so when you log in you might see this screen if you don't see this screen you can click on setup and it will take you to this screen at the top right corner setup here okay now to create visual force page there are multiple ways the best way which I like is by going to the URL, cleaning everything, writing in Apex and type in the name of your page. Let's say SFDC first page and press enter. But what will happen? It will give you an error right now. That is why I will show you. See page SFDC first page does not exist. But if I go to my name here, click here, go to my profile or you can go to my settings. It's one and the same thing. Go to personal, go to advanced user details and click on edit. Make sure that development mode is turned on here. Okay. So if the development mode is turned on, click on save. So once this is saved, now if I refresh my page, you see it will automatically give me an option that page SFDC first page does not exist. Create page SFDC first page. So this is the beauty of having development mode enabled. Now what happens when I click on this, it automatically creates the page for me at the bottom here. So you see here, here all the code of the page will come. So you can, here all the code page of the code will come. Now you will write your code here, you will save and simultaneously you can see the effect of the coding here. Okay. So let's say I remove this code from here. And here in the between apex colon page tag, you can write your own visual force markup, which will also see slowly slowly in the video how to do that. So this was one way. I like this way because you code here and simultaneously you see the effect. Another way is to use an ID like Eclipse. So you can code in Eclipse as well and you can deploy that to your environment. Another way will be go to setup. Okay. Then at the left hand column here under build, go to develop. And here you will see pages. You click on pages here. And here you can go and click on create a new page. So you can do it this way as well. Okay. So you can create a page, give it a label, a name and save. So all these are same thing, but mostly what people do, people prefer this functionality because of they are simultaneously able to see the effect of each and every line of code. They save here, it gives them error, they rectify, they move forward. Okay. So first you need to create a new account of Salesforce. Then enable your development mode. Take care. Bye-bye. All the best.